make sure to disconnect the power and remove the battery before changing a screen. Take off four rubber screw covers at the bottom, then two at the top. The other two, located closer to the webcam, are not actual screw covers, so you can leave them on. Next, remove six bezel screws, located under the screw covers. Now go ahead and remove the bezel. Start from one side, gently prying the plastic away from the screen, and move to the top towards the other side. The bezel comes with a hinge cover. Use a spudger or a flat screwdriver. First, pick on one side and pull towards yourself to release the hinge cover. And repeat on the other side. Once you're done, remove three frame screws on each side. Keep all the screws in separate piles so you don't mix them up when reassembling your laptop. Place the LCD on the keyboard. Disconnect the inverter cable. Gently lift the adhesive securing the video connector and disconnect the video cable. Lift the tape securing the video cable and set the cable aside. Now you can discard the old panel. Take the new screen out of the package. All our screens come in a plastic bag. Place this bag on the keyboard to protect the new screen. You can also use a paper towel or a cloth. Place the new screen on top of the bag. Reconnect the inverter. Be extremely careful. All the connectors are very fragile. Reconnect the video cable and secure it with the tape. Bend out the protective film tabs. Lift the screen up. Line it up with a frame and remove the protective film. Secure the new screen with the three frame screws on each side. Now test the new screen. Plug the power and turn on the laptop. If the startup graphics appear, the screen is installed correctly and is working. Cancel the boot up by pressing and holding the power button. Don't forget to disconnect the power. Now you can replace the bezel. Insert the hinge cover first, and then move towards the top, snapping the bezel around the perimeter. Replace the six bezel screws, and put on the screw covers. Finally, put the battery back in, reconnect the power, and you're done.